My name is Estevo Montoya, and I work here with uh, the Valley Bible Baptist Church in Española, New Mexico. And the question that's come up a couple times is, how did we send out all the different gospel tracts that we had mailed to the different uh, communities within our area? So I'm going to go ahead and make a quick video and uh, explain to you what we did. But before I do, just want to let you know that this particular file that I have, uh, I, I made, and I made it available, and I'll have the link in the description for any church and all they'd have to do is go in and customize this to their church website um, and then also customize um, this down here for their church information and then this right here for their church information and they could use this uh, print um, however they see fit and so we went ahead and mailed these out and these are 6.5 inches tall by 9 inches wide and that meets the every door direct mail campaign um, requirements that we did with our um, mailing through the postal service. So this is the front and it doesn't have the guides whenever you print it. That's just uh, for design purposes. This is the back and you have to have a return address. You need to have this on here as well, which also can be covered with a, a print label if you have extras and you want to mail them to speak to people individually. And then this has to be here as well. And it shows that it's been paid and it's every door direct mailing. And uh, this is at a retail cost. We don't have a, a uh, one of the, the, the stamps for a church so we had to pay retail but the retail was like 19 cents per mailer and this is again nine inches long by um, six and a half inches tall so it's a big file and so um, or it's a big print rather and so I have this available but I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of the steps of what we do here so let me go ahead and get into this and so the this is the website people go to whenever they um, visit um, and it comes from here um, www.vbbc.church forward slash COVID and it goes here and I made it look similar to the print and uh, this video here presented by the New Heights Baptist Church in Albuquerque where the Reyes let us use this video and uh, it has the gospel and then from there it has um, some questions and our pastor answered them and then a contact form as well so this is where people go whenever they receive our mailer um, and so we have here this is the Postal Service website now. And so if you go to USPS.com, I'll just show you how I got there. Um, and you go to Business, and then you go to Every Door Direct Mail. And what you do is you type in the zip code of where you're wanting to mail. And so this, this site, their site in particular, is a little clunky and kind of slow. So I'm going to go to just put an R zip code real quick. And this will search, and it'll bring up all the different carriers and routes that are in this zip code and what happens is you can see there's 87532 this is all over there's all the different zip codes in our area but whenever you click this this actually shows all the different routes and so as a route route this is a PO box and and you can see there's adding up pretty quick you can't do more than 5,000 pieces at a time so you may have to do two orders if you're planning I'm doing more than that. We did about 2,000 is what we're doing, and we're going to send out another four to 500 here today. Um, but this is what you would normally do, and then um, you would continue. And, oh, sorry, I need to sign in here. So it's going to have me do this over again. I apologize. Um, While this is loading, I'm going to show you here real quick. I went ahead and uploaded this to um, Google Drive, and I have here the, the shareable link, and that link will be in the description of this that you could use and download the files there. And they're pretty big. They're the full Photoshop files. You have to have a full version of Photoshop to edit them. It can't be um, the elements. It has to be the full version and because uh, it's a CMYK file. And so um, here, here's back up now. So let me go ahead and click that. And we'll go ahead and just center this again so we kind of see it. And let's just say we choose on the peel boxes and these three routes here. And so um, this calculates how much it costs, and it says their cost um, right here per mail piece. And this shows how many people will be getting a delivery. And so you go ahead and hide that, and you can see where the routes are. You could even click on them if you like. And uh, we'll just go ahead and continue. For sake of illustration, today is the 22nd. You can put the order in and try to have it delivered today, but we always try to do it the next day 
um, just to make sure we got all our stuff in order. And so I'd click here and then you pay online and um, we got to agree to the terms and you pay online. I'm not going to actually go through with an order, but I'm just showing you here what it looks like. And it's your, your shopping cart and you got to check out and, and go through the whole process and, and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this cart because I don't want to order that right now. But we do have an order that we need to work through. And so right here is my activity history. And we're going to be doing a mailing here today. And so this is the mailing right here. And so what it did is this is a, the order that we put through in the Dixon Post Office and the Española Post Office to a specific area. You go ahead and hit View More Details. And from there, it takes you to this page here. And this shows you um, how many routes, so this is the Dixon Post Office, how many routes you're going to be delivering to and how many deliveries total. And you can see that um, this is the route here. It's the zip code and um, 82 deliveries and PO Box 95 is a rural area. Same thing, Española here, two routes, 403. Um, you have the, the route here and then the, the PO Boxes. And what you have here are the facing slips and the mailing statement. Let me show you what you print first and only one of, and it's this right here. And this is for this route. So you'll have, I'll have two deliveries to this one post office. So I click this and I print this. And um, I don't need to fill this out. What happens is I print this and I take it to the post office and they will fill out all this stuff and you sign it all right here. And it shows that it was paid online and um, type of postage is EDDM. And so um, and it route types and it shows highway and PO box. And so this shows that I paid. Okay, you print one of these um, and then you have this right here which are the down facing slips which i'm going to do this one instead because there's this right here so you click the down facing slips and it has for the p.o box and then you go down and it has for the routes now let me go back over here the p.o box is only 47 deliveries whenever we do our prints we always order them in batches of you know a large quantity like 2500 but we have them um package them into um hundred pieces and so whenever you get them delivered they'll be bound in um in, in um in like a plastic or like a rubber band and there'll be a hundred in each binding and then they'll all be together in one big box and so um so i count up 47 and then i would for the p.o box i would put number of pieces per bundle 47 right here and i would put one of one but for this one there's 356 so I would print one of these and then make three more copies for a total of four of these. And I would put one of four and then there's a hundred, then two of four and then another hundred and then three of four and then another hundred. That's 300 right there, but it's 356. I would do the last one, four of four, and then I would put 56 in there. And then I would, with those, how they're bundled up, you put one of those in each of those bundles and then you have that other one, the, the other slip right here and you have that on top. So that's what you deliver to the post office. So you have to do the work. That's why you're only paying 19 cents per mailing. They just take them, drop them in the boxes and mailboxes or peel boxes. And so you have to bundle them in, in stacks of a hundred and you have to do the work. So however many you have. So if you have 525, you'd end up printing six of these and you would have one of five, two of, or one of six, two of six, three of six, four of six, five of six, six of six. And you start off with a hundred for, for it. So the first bundle has a hundred, second bundle has, bundle has a hundred. The last one has your remaining amount. So in that case, that'd be 25 and it would say six of six, but it would have the 25 in there. And so that's what you deliver to the post office ready and bundled um, for them to just drop into the boxes. And so that's what we do here. This is the Every Door Direct Mail campaign. So you can see we, we did that. And uh, now I have two places to go to. So this first one is called Primo Print. And this is where I recommend people to go to. Um, and, and everyone kind of has a give or take in pricing. Um, this one, for instance, it cost for $2,500. Uh, let me go to the, to the postcards here. Um, and, and let me just show you, walk you through the process. You choose um, paper and you do 14 point. That's what we do. And apply filters. 
Um, you could do different types of coats. I normally do an uncoated um, one. I don't do a glossy or anything like that. Just uncoated is cheaper. It looks just as nice. And uh, size, and you would do, um, let's see here, this one doesn't have it. So, you know, I'm going to go to the other one. Sorry. Um, I don't normally use Primo Prints, so sorry for that. But um, I use a different print company. Choose 14 point. Um, apply filter. Let's see here. We'll try a matte one here. This has a few more options. And so 6.5 by 9. That's the standard for every door direct mail campaign. You print on both sides. The weight is 14 point. And then mail service. Um, I will um, I will stamp an imprint. That's what we, we have here. And so they, they print it themselves in artwork or bundle. You got to add the bundle of 100. It costs a little more. And then artwork, I will per, I will upload files, and then from there you would choose your amount, and uh, and go from there. So, um, and then you'd have to print it and ship it to your church, and then from there you would um, get it and do the what you had to do at the post office. So there's got print. Now got print. Let me go here real quick, and let me find it here. Non, there it is. Nonprofit solutions. You can go in and apply for a nonprofit account. And so where is it at here? Interested. And you just fill out your information and uh, and go from there. And they, they could try to apply to be a nonprofit for a church. Um, another place which is a little more affordable is Got Print, but they do not offer bundling. And so you'd go through in 6.5 by 9, and it shows as EDDM eligible. And horizontal, that's the orientation paper, 14, just and then um, full color both sides and then you would choose your amount um, 2500 there's the regular business days um, and then you just make sure instant upload so you have that and then um, you can go through and order from there and so this is who i use and so um, or not who i use I, I use a different print company altogether but you have to apply to have an account with them and be a printer or have a business and so um, these are the two public kind of versions and so that's what we do and so these are the files again they're 6.5 inches tall by 9 inches wide and um, there everything is on there that needs to be put on there uh, as far as the the mailing and to meet their standards with these two things here so um, if you have any questions just leave a comment I'll try to get back to them as I have time but I hope this helps you to understand what we did and uh, we mailed out um, you know, almost 2,500 gospel tracts with the plan of salvation, as you saw there on the back. And uh, these are verses that we chose a little different. We added works cannot save. All times there are only four points, um, but we added that. Um, and then um, they go to this website and they can watch a gospel presentation. And there's a few more questions, but we did this for our own church. So you would have to go in with Photoshop again, a full version of Photoshop. And you have to edit this, your return address. You have to edit this bottom section here, whatever you want to put. And then you have to edit this right here. And the font I used is Montserrat, and it's a common font. And so that's what I used there. So I hope this is a blessing. Thank you, and you have a great day.